Hey guys, I'm Cody, editor by Past Life Pro, and to continue with my shader tutorials, I thought I'd show you how you can adjust vignetting in the SUS V10.2 Preview and Ultra. Alright, let's get to it. I have no doubt that there is a pretty big portion of you that don't have a clue what vignetting is. Well, let's fix that. As you can see in the example, vignetting is that faded black curve that goes on all sides of your screen. Why is it there? Well, it's pretty much more of a stylized effect that brings more attention towards the center of the screen, but I've never been a big fan of it, so let's get to changing things around. Alright, make sure you have the Sue shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Double click the folder, double click the shaders folder, and locate final.fsh. Use Notepad++, open it up. From here, scroll down to line 896. By default, vignetting should already be active, but for those of you who may simply be looking to disable it, just add two slashes to the beginning of the text. For those that wish to decrease or increase the amount of vignetting on screen, I want you to scroll down to lines 303 and 306. We'll start with decreasing the amount of vignetting on screen. To do this, change 2.0F to any number that's not 0.0F, because well, at that point vignetting is completely gone. For this tutorial, I'll be changing the number to 0.5F. Okay, let's get to increasing the effects of vignetting. To do this, we'll first need to unlock our main tool, so remove the two slashes next to dist. Now, here's where things get a little interesting. If you're mainly interested in increasing the vignetting for a darker effect, then I'd recommend changing the value to 0.7F. But what if we were to decrease the value even more? Well, let's try changing the value to 0.03F instead. When you check it out in game, it almost looks as if you're staring into something of an eclipse look. Which for Minecraft filmmakers, this might actually make a pretty cool scene. So, if this tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys.